Hey guys, so I am here in Bratislava right now. I'm gonna be spending seven days with some friends, working with the tourism board. I don't know what to expect during this trip. I'm excited to take you guys on this little adventure with me. Currently starting our trip in the main square and we have a full day ahead. First thing on the list for us to do are ride segways. I have never ridden one before and I'm terrified. <laughs> but it should be an interesting experience and a very fun adventure. We shall see. All right, you got go. this, Bray. Let's go. Good luck. <laughs> All right, everybody. Good last words. Last words. Last words. Just relax. I mean, just relax. I mean, somewhere to see it. Oh, yeah, guys, I'm doing it. The side. And slow down that little bit. Try to make a circle. Oh, God. Watch out, guys. Here I come. <laughs> Move out of the way. I'm coming after you. <laughs> I see it. Woo! So. After the initial five minutes, it's not as scary. So okay, I'll show you how, how it's done. So you just lean forward to make it go forward. Lean back, whoa, to make it go back. And then just spin it around, do one of these. And just spin it. And to stop, you have to like make it go against something, like a wall or a tree. Let's go park. Here we go. All right. Beep. Beep. Wow. Professional. <laughs> So having a blast on the segways, not gonna lie, it is really fun. But we're here in the main square. Right here, this fountain was built in 1572. So our tour guide, Philip, told me a super fun fact. I'm gonna let him tell you because it's just way better when he does it. <laughs> Are you okay? At the beginning of the 19th century, there was Napoleon in Bratislava. He wanted to conquer the city and he bombed some of the buildings. So some of the buildings have a cannonball in their wall. It doesn't actually mean that the ball, the cannonball was stuck in the wall, but it's just to commemorate that the building was actually hit by Napoleon. Wow. All right, I'm getting a little bit more confident on this segue, but I'm gonna show you guys a castle that we're gonna visit today. Very excited. <laughs> Bratislava Castle. What's really amazing is that this is the only castle where you can actually see three countries from it. So over behind over here you can see Austria, a little bit further Hungary, and of course Slovakia. So they're not entirely sure when exactly this fortress was built, but there are scriptures again that says possibly around 907, which is crazy to think. The reason why this castle was built originally was because of Danube River, which is right to my left. So it was once a very popular spot for trading. And because we were up on a hill, the people thought, well, we're up high, we're safe, we can see who's coming in. Good place to put a castle. <laughs> Church, which 
which is also known as the main church in Bratislava. And you have art students scattered around drawing gorgeous work. And it is absolutely the coolest little area. So there have been settlements before, but the first written scriptures that they found about Bratislava have been dated back to 907 AD. So this is the Bermuda Triangle of Bratislava because there are three bars, right? Three. Yeah, there are a few bars here in Bratislava and that's why we call it Bermuda Triangle that uh, sometimes it happens that you get lost here. Okay guys, so we are currently at Restaurant Parliament and it's really cool because most of the politicians do eat here. The dishes are very interesting. So this is Slovakia's version of Coca-Cola. It's called Kofala. Tastes a little bit like coffee. Has a little bit of a licorice flavor. Overall, good. Very difficult to describe. Okay, so they recommended me to try a kremesh. Very excited. We are heading to a vineyard 30 minutes away. It's a little cute town. It's known for its vineyards. I would like to welcome you in this small town which is called San George or Sveti Jur in the Slovak language. Uh, basically it's 800 years old town and we will drive from here probably one hour. some stacks right here let's let's uh grab another juicy so usually when the guys do it the guys or girls they use both hands right now i have as i said stacks so i can only use one hand but got some grapes it's actually gorgeous this is amazing alcohol from, after 24 hours east, of natural east, production and it's delicious and it tastes kind of like a cider which is so cool you guys this has been so much fun i could not recommend this experience more hey guys so we're on our way to a very famous museum here in slovakia called the danubiana which is a contemporary art museum very excited to get our culture on currently trying a fish of the day. What's this called? Yes, it's called? It's called Yes, it's called Yes, it's called. It's fish in this, this river behind us. Okay guys, very excited because here is our next ride. Going on a speedboat, we're heading to a castle. Here at Devon Castle. Well, it's the ruins of Devon Castle. In the 9th century, it was owned by noblemen, and then in the 19th century, it was actually destroyed by Napoleon. They have no idea why, but that's what history tells us. 
Good morning. Sunrise mission. Oh, elevator light. Ooh, don't look at me. Okay guys, next up on our list is Bojnica Castle. Baby, to the High Tatras. We are here in the highest region of Slovakia. I'm really excited because I have, I didn't even know Slovakia had mountains like these, but we are going to be exploring the second highest mountain in Slovakia called the Mniški Štit. probably butchering that name, but really fun fact about this spot. So because the people here don't want to scare the animals with uh, helicopter deliveries to the mountain hut, there are Sherpas that actually bring uh, food on their backs. Some of them carry up to 100 kilos of weight from hut to hut, just so helicopters don't have to deliver foods, scaring the animals, etc. It's pretty amazing and very admirable. All right, guys, time to go up to the tippy top of the mountain. This way is Slovakia and this way is Poland. I did not know, but George just told me. We are now here in the old town of Poprad. Yeah, or Spiska Sobota. What is it? Spiska Sobota or Old Town of Poprad. Say it, say it into the micros. Spiska Sobota or Old Town of Poprad. <laughs> It's super, super cute here. Uh, we are just exploring, taking some photos and videos, and then we're gonna head to dinner. Your favorite tour guide. What's up, Philip? Hi, good evening from Poprad. Uh, we are drinking beer in a restaurant where they actually make their own beer. I saw on the menu and on the bar that they make about 15 different beers. And we just visited uh, the microbrewery downstairs and the gentleman was saying that they produce about 4,800 beers a day. That's I probably insane. made it up, uh, but uh, they, they produce a lot of beer. So He's not drunk yet. Nastravia. All right, guys, look where we are in the middle of the lake. Beautiful. Lots of craziness just happened, but this is a part of the adventure. This has been very fun so far. Now we're going to take some photos. So when the guys okay. are taking photos of us, this is where I have to lay. Okay, now breathe. Switch places. Oh, my turn? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> about to embark on a very interesting experience. Oh, I see it. <laughs> How do they get it? Basically, a girl named Farata fell via this cliff. So now they call this a Via Farata.
Okay, next activity. Oh goodness. Today is an adventurous day. Oh, Sophie. <laughs> paragliding experience ever. I know it might be silly to some people. I think paragliding is not that scary, but ever since I had a panic attack on a mini plane, all of my experiences flying, especially in circumstances like these where there is literally no control involved, uh, I get a little panicky. But all in all, it wasn't bad. I think I lucked out because it wasn't very windy today. Would I do it again? It depends. If it's like this, where it's not too high and the wind, there's no wind, possibly yes. This is the most random place I've ever seen. All right, guys, my time in Slovakia has come to an end. I am so sad to say goodbye, not only because my friends are the best and I'm going to miss them, but because Slovakia has been so incredibly surprising, fun, fulfilling, incredible. I honestly. I'm just shocked by how much we did, how much there was to do, and just the beauty of this country. So I really hope Slovakia is now on your bucket list, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.